Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Not yet. Let's hand the mic like over to our narrator, Leanne. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> the Israelites were going to be given the 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 gift from God. The priests would divide the land between all of the tribes, except for the uh, Levites, uh, just as God had commanded. All right. So the Israelites have taken over the land of Canaan. They're dividing it up amongst the tribes. So that's all the different tables are all the different tribes. Caleb, who was in the tribe of Judah, came to Joshua one day. He told Joshua, You know what the Lord has promised me? When I was 40 years old, I was sent into the land to bring back a report what I saw. I gave a true report of what I saw even when the other scouts did not. I have followed the Lord completely. Moses promised me that since I have followed the Lord wholeheartedly, the land that I walked on would inheritance for me and my descendants forever. Let's hear for Chris. Absolutely. Caleb also told Joshua. Wait, there's more. <laughs> the Lord has let me keep living for 45 more years. That makes her 85 years old. Boy, Chris doesn't look a day over 84. <laughs> no. I am now 85 years old and I am still very strong. She, but she's still very strong. I can still go into battle. Give me the land the Lord promised me, and God may allow me to defeat the people who live there. Let's hear it for Chris. That's absolutely flawless. Joshua listened to Caleb. Joshua gave Caleb the land that was his inheritance from God. The land was called Hebron. Hebron still belongs to the descendants of Caleb because he followed the Lord completely. The land had a rest from all after this. The end. Let's hear it for the cast, the crew.